Hello everyone, and today we are going over how to add Conan Exiles mods onto your Nitrado server. Like many survival games out there, Conan Exiles offers a great variety of options for fun for you and your friends to play, and that's just in the vanilla game alone. But sometimes, people want to have a little bit more than just the vanilla game, as with most games. If this is the case, then what you need to learn how to do is how to add mods to not only your single player world, but also to your Nitrato server. So today we're going over how to do that. Installing mods for Conan Exiles. First thing you need to do is head to the Steam Workshop and find the mod in question that you want to have installed. The first thing to do is look for the mod ID in the description. Most mods will have this there, but if for some reason it isn't there, you can always click the share button, and the big long number after the ID equals area is also the mod ID. Go ahead and copy that, because we're going to need it for later. If you want to install it very quickly to your single player world, just hit the green subscribe button right there. Next, you want to open up your game, and under the mods setting, you can always click on the mod in question and click the right arrow key in order to move it over to the selected mods area. From here, it will take a restart if you already have the game launched. So there is actually one quicker way to do that. In the actual launcher for the game, from the left column, you want to put the mod of your choice in the right side and then hit launch. This will effectively make the mod load up with the game instead of having to restart the game. If you want to do this on your server side, the first thing you need to do is head into your server, of course, and hit the red stop button in order to stop the server. Double down on the pop-up that appears, and after just a few seconds, you'll see the server stop. Then you want to head to the left-hand side and go to Mods and Workshop on the Settings tab. Then from here, you're going to enter the ID that we previously had. Or of course, if you see it in the Popular Mod section, you can just click on it. But for today's tutorial, we'll just add the ID as if it weren't already there. Hit the green Save Changes button in the bottom right-hand corner, and then after just a few seconds, the changes will be saved. Now all you need to do is head back to your dashboard and start your server with the green start server button. Double down on the pop-up and then you'll be good to go. Conclusion Adding mods is relatively simple if you know what you're looking for, but if you don't, then hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you like this tutorial, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>